Hey folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longbows, and today I'm going to do something quite different. I'm going to drill beaver tail. So it's the day after November. I was gifted this by a trapper, and uh, we're going to cook it up. So anyway, I've had a few questions about what knife I've been using lately. These are made by Dean Olson. They are a river trade replication knife, maple handle, pretty thin steel, but it's solid and razor sharp. So check them out. It's really cool. You'll know it by the little canoe stamp on the blade. And uh, razor sharp, so be careful. So anyway, what you want to do is we're going to try to cut all the way around this. Carefully peel the skin off because I'm going to try to save this skin. It makes really good bow grips. So here we go. I've already cleaned it up. I'm going to get a cut started. I'll just work my way around. Like so. The same on the other. That started. Get it started up here. Try to get it started. There's a lot of fat in between the skin and the meat. Clamp it to your board. Just start working it down, laying a fish. Alright, so I got it skinned. There's still a lot of fat left on here. But I'll have to scrape all that off to pelt those out. We got a nice chunk of meat here. So I'm going to get it cleaned up, seasoned up. Throw it on. Okay, so the grill is ready. I got her cleaned up, seasoned. Put some uh, salt and pepper on there. I like to just taste the meat. I don't want to over season it too much. So we're going to get that baby thrown on there. You betcha. And of course pepper. You know we like pepper. Who has two thumbs and likes pepper? Oh, this guy. And I also decided to cook up some I'm going to cook up some bannock, which is basically native fry bread. I'll do it in a buttered skillet. I'm going to let the meat cook a while before I do that because it doesn't take very long. And it's basically uh, two cups of flour, baking powder, a tablespoon of salt, a little bit of sugar, butter. Mix it all up, knead it into a nice loaf. I'll make a flat bread out of it. How native can you get? 
So we'll check back on this in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so the beaver's done, so I'm gonna start my fry bread. Pan heating up with some butter. Just kind of mush it out. To a flat bread. I keep an eye on it though, it'll burn fast. Shut her down. Check it in a minute. Alright, so it's ready to flip. Start to get a little golden brown on the other side. Let that side cook a minute. Come back. Okay, so the beaver's done. Fry bread's done. So we're going to try it out. Cut into this baby first. Cut me off a square. Yeah. Carbohydrates. I'll have to admit I had a little flare up on the beaver tail. So I got sidetracked. If you don't watch it, this stuff will catch fire. Burn like a Inuit well lamp. I'll tell you what. Anyway. Take a little bit of this. Put it on your bread. Mmm. It's like butter. It's pretty good. My guess is this was a pretty native delicacy, if not trappers, back in the day. There is the uh, vertebrae, of course, of the tail, because they have to have something to operate the machinery. But it's pretty fatty. It's got a really good flavor. Of course, it's very charred now, but I like it charred. Try it out. Mmm. Yep. You can sustain on that for sure. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's beaver tail grilled. Not my best job I've ever done, but uh, it works. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.